Today's video, I'm gonna uh, address a situation that we have in a lot of uh, cars. This happens to be a Jeep with a 3.8 liter. Uh, a lot of times, you'll have a startup rattle. Um, if you get, if you Jeep guys, you probably know what I'm talking about. Ford guys too. Um, it's basically any type, any time you see a, a filter that's mounted sideways, up uh, sideways, uh, right side up. You know, or anything but vertical, where it's always full of oil. You're going to get that little bit of startup rattle. And over time, if you don't address that, uh, it, could, it, could, it could wear out the, uh, the crankshaft and the cams and basically cost you an engine. And what happens is, when the, the, the uh, filter is not totally vertical, like on the Jeep, it's, it's horizontal like this, uh, that there's an there's a anti-drain back valve that fails. And what it does is when you shut it off overnight, it, it slowly trickles out. So, and when you start the car in the morning, the oil pump slowly pumps this up. It's about one or two seconds. It pumps it up nice and full, and then it starts circulating the engine, and that's why you hear that rattle. Um, on this particular Jeep, the 3.8 2, 2007 to 2011, and even higher models, um, you're going to want to replace the filter. The normal filter is not as big as this one. This one is basically the same, the part number. And I get wicks because they're pretty decent filters. Um, where is the, uh, here, right there. It's uh, 5151.6XP. And you want the XP because of the uh, synthetic oil that you're supposed to use. All right? And the anti-drain uh, bag valve fails over time and cheaper some cheaper filters they they don't even have it and the factory filter which is in there now has failed about a thousand miles and it's not the first time that i use factory filters and they fail but these wix filters they're, they're not that expensive maybe about 10 bucks online good quality made in the united states and it solves that problem okay and if you notice i'll show you when i take it out the other filter is about it's about like that tall and this gives you an extra like inch and a half of filtering and what it does is it keeps a little bit more oil in the engine when you're starting it up it's and everything is exactly the same the flow the pressure rate everything's exactly the same except that it's a little longer all right and what i like to use i like to use the uh, mobile one you can use any one it has to be a 20 w i mean i'm sorry 5w20 i use the uh, truck and suv formula there's a little bit better protection, that they say. And I never have a problems with that. But starting this this Jeep, let me go underneath and show you exactly what uh, I'm talking about. You see the filter right there? Let me see if I can get this up there. Um, I'll be, I better pull it out first. I'll show you the, the difference. But there's plenty of room to put the longer one in there. And as a matter of fact, I believe that's a factory filter. And after a 1,000 miles, I started to get that... that uh, Start up chatter, clacking, rattle noise, whatever you want to call it. It's easy. All you do, right there, you got your drain plug. Take it out. Drain all the fluid out, all the motor oil out. Take your filter off, screw another filter in, and, and fill it up to whatever, you know, I think it's uh, six quarts. But whatever you take out, you put back in, assuming that your level was correct. All right, I'm going to do that and show you the, the difference in the filters. And it's a good idea to unscrew the oil fill so you have a nice, you know, vacuum when you um, drain the oil. And it's good to start the engine up for like five minutes, get a, get a little warm, so the oil flows out pretty good. And if you can put it on stand, it's better because the oil, the, um, the drain plug is on the corner, so all the oil fl flows out nice. But if not, you can just do it without the, the, the uh, jack stands. Okay, the drain plug is a 5.8 socket. You just drain it into the pan. And like I said, whatever comes out, you put that back in. Usually like 5.6 or 7 quarts. It all depends. Make sure you put the uh, drain plug back and torque it. And after this, I'm going to unscrew the filter. Okay, when you put the drain plug back in, this, this uh, gasket on mine was no good. You may need a new one so keep that in mind before you do the job to order a little gasket for the drain plug all right 
Okay, took them out. Um, and you see the difference in size? I would say it's about almost two inches. But everything, like I said, the diameter, the, uh, the pressure that that uh, this engine requires, the flow, everything's exactly the same. It's just a little longer. And um, this is a motorcraft. It's a motor. It's a uh, factory filter. Okay, so you upgrade it to this one, and you should never have that. Um, those. Um, Engine noises when you first start it up, you know, that click, 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 and then it goes away. If you always have it, then you have a different issue. It's probably this issue that was never taken care of. But for you guys that are just noticing it now, that's the best way to uh, eliminate it. If it doesn't eliminate it, then you have a mechanical problem. Or, yeah, mechanical problem, oil pressure problem, or something, something else went wrong. But the majority of the time, it's just the uh, the anti-drain back because it's mounted this way and it drains back. So when this one does start to fail, maybe, well, she shouldn't fail. It's, it's at least got a little bit more oil in there, a little bit more filtration anyway. All right, guys, please subscribe, Motocar Nut. Any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll get back to all my, uh, my subscribers and viewers. And I'll see you guys in the next video.